today we're going to make the first layer on a plaster mask and um, we're going to use some plaster strips to create that uh, and then it's going to end up drying and being hard as a rock. So we have this um, mold that you're going to use so that we don't have to put this on your face. And you're going to turn it over this way and take a roll of tape and write your name on it. And your class code. And then you're going to take the tape and put it on the inside. And that way, when we pull your mask off, we can put the tape on the inside and we know who made what. Uh, so then we have these plaster strips which uh, are kind of like cloth, but they've got the plaster embedded in there. Pa plaster starts off as this little powdery substance. And then when we add water, it uh, will turn into kind of a liquid. And then we've got this in there so that we have some strength. If you've broken your arm and you've made a cast, if I made a cast on your arm, uh, they've used this. So we're gonna dip this in the water. And we're gonna kind of get most of that water off of there and you just lay it across and you smooth it out one piece at a time and then I'm just kind of overlapping a little bit and if you want to be able to see out of your mask you will not want to cover your eyes so the way I'm going to suggest that you do that is you just kind of make a little crisscross Got these strips here, I've got them wet, and then I've kind of folded it before I do this. And I press this in there, I can kind of move that with my thumb and smooth this on here so it connects. Same thing here. You want to get about three layers of plaster on there right now I've got about one and a half here so I'm gonna go ahead and take another one and just build that up here so now I've got two and my third layer will be here so you can cover the whole thing you can cover parts of it I wouldn't go along this this is just to kind of keep it from rolling around and then once you got the whole thing covered just smooth it one last little time and we'll set it off to dry and when you come back in the next class it should be ready to go.